The term sleeper is nothing new in the automotive world. Cars that perform better than how they look have been embarrassing sports cars and dedicated performance cars for decades. It all started in the late 1930s when pioneering hot rodders started stuffing flathead V8s into otherwise unassuming Model A's and Model T's creating the original hot rod. In the mid-1960s, the NHRA stock and super stock classes of drag racing became breeding grounds for manufacturers to push the performance envelope with lighter weight, basic stripper models that had high horsepower V8s. Cars like the 1963 Chevy Impala Z11, which was basically an Impala sport coupe, but it had aluminum body panels and a 430 horsepower big block 427 V8. Then there's the 1968 to 1972 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser Wagon, which had available high performance, high output 400 and 455 V8 engines from the hot 442 model. There's the famous Copo 427 Camaros in 1969, which were all base model sport coupe Camaros with the biggest possible 427 V8s from the Corvette, including the iconic ZL1 with its 430 horsepower all aluminum 427 big block V8. There's also the 1966 to 1967 Ford Fairlane 500 with the 425 horsepower R code 427 big block V8 and almost too many base model Dodge and Plymouth Mopars with legendary 426 Hemi V8s in them. As you can see, the 1960s was the pinnacle for the word sleeper. The Chrysler Corporation didn't wait long in the 80s to contract the legend himself, Carroll Shelby, to inject some fun to drive into their very mundane K-car platform. His ideas included the Dodge Omni GLHS, which added 175 turbocharged horsepower to the square little hatchback. GLH stands for Goes Like Hell, a name Mr. Shelby coined himself. Another 80s icon sleeper was the Buick Regal Grand National, and even the earlier T-Type, which used a similar 3.8 liter turbocharged V6. These cars were known for being one of the quickest production cars at the time. And what classic sleeper list wouldn't include the GMC Cyclone and Typhoon SUV? The crazy quick all-wheel drive trucks with turbocharged 4.3 liter V6s and all-wheel drive. Okay, now the stage is set. With such a rich history of automotive sleepers in this country, here are 10 modern day cars that have the ability to surprise, if not embarrass, some of the quickest performance cars. Number 10. Okay, kicking things off is a car more likely to be seen in a rental fleet than it would be in your garage. The pedestrian looking Hyundai Sonata family sedan. Now sure, Hyundai does offer a two liter turbo version of the Sonata that packs a strong turbocharged engine. But the sleeper model is the Sonata Eco built from 2015 to 2019. Now don't let the Eco name fool you. It comes with a turbocharged 1.6 liter GDI four cylinder. It has 178 horsepower and 195 foot pounds of torque. And also comes with a seven speed DCT dual clutch transmission. Zero to 60, 6.7 seconds. Quarter mile, 15.3 at 92 miles an hour in stock form. Now add a tune and a few bolt-on modifications and you could have a very unassuming stoplight killer. Number nine. Okay, next up is the Subaru Forester XT, but not the very popular cult classic 2004 to 2012 XT models, which had the venerable 2.5 liter turbo flat four. The true sleeper is the 2014 to 2018 XT models which have the new direct injected FA20F two liter turbo flat four engine that eventually made its way into the redesigned WRX in 2015. Now purists snub their noses at the newest XT based on very pedestrian styling, 
no more hood scoop, and a CVT being the only transmission available. But since this is about sleepers, these XTs fit the profile perfectly. 250 horsepower, 258 foot-pounds of torque, zero to 60 in 6.3 seconds, and a quarter mile in 15 flat. And those are just stock numbers. Turn up the boost with a tune and add all of your favorite bolt-ons for some serious fun in what looks like your mom's SUV. Number eight, Volkswagen is famous for building station wagon versions of its Golf, Jetta, and Passat. However, in this country, none have packed a performance punch. Yes, there were some offered with the two liter turbo engines from the GTI. And later on in 2015 with the very nice EA888 1.8 TSI engine. However, all of them were merely front wheel drive. That changed in 2017 with the introduction of the Golf, Sport Wagon, 4Motion, and All Track Wagons. Not only do these cars have the wonderful little turbocharged 1.8 TSI engine, they are both all wheel drive and come with either a six speed manual transmission or the super cool DSG six speed dual clutch automated manual. Now, these cars are not gonna set any speed records stock. Zero to 60 is about seven seconds flat, which is merely average. However, based on the looks alone, you can definitely surprise some people, especially considering it has launch control standard. The fun really begins though, with the vast aftermarket available to most Volkswagen Auto Group cars. So here I am in my own personal Volkswagen Golf Sport Wagon for motion. It's got a few upgrades to it. Uh, it's got 17 by 8 inch Koenig wheels with 225-45 Bridgestone SO4 pole position tires. It has Eibach springs to give it a little better handling and a little better look. And I've upgraded the front brakes to GTI sized rotors. Um, and then it's got a stage one tune for both the engine and the transmission uh, from Unitronics that brings horsepower from 170 stock to 240 and it takes the torque up from 199 stock to 284. So we're going to do a little 0 to 60 run here to see how it performs and give you a little video of that. Okay here we go uh, we're ready to do a 0 to 60 run we're going to put it into sport mode push it over into the manual and we are going to turn off traction and stability and that allows us to go into launch control. All right, and here we go. Okay, there you have it. Zero to 60 in six seconds flat, which is a full one second improvement over stock with just a stage one tune. Okay, that brings us to my first honorable mentions. Now, as I mentioned before, the Volkswagen Auto Group has no shortage of very capable turbocharged engines, meaning that most of them are only a tune and some bolt-ons away from some serious horsepower. So here are two that you should be careful of when you line up against them at a stoplight. First up is the 2014 Plus Jetta with the 1.8 TSI engine. Now with only 170 horsepower stock and being front wheel drive only, these cars are merely quick. And transmission choices are either a 5 speed manual or a 6 speed torque converter automatic. But like the sport wagon and all track, a tune and some bolt-ons can get these mainstream sedans into the 300 horsepower ballpark with ease. Next is the 2010 to 2017 Volkswagen CC. Now, yes, there is a 280 horsepower VR6 version of the CC that has four motion all wheel drive. However, the CC I'm gonna talk about is the basic two liter turbo front wheel drive version. Now, believe it or not, the CC is actually built on the Golf platform. So the four cylinder version actually shares its powertrain with the hot hatch GTI. Starting in 2010, this meant the awesome 200 horsepower turbocharged four cylinder engine and your choice of a six speed manual or the quick shifting DSG dual clutch transmission. 
So once again, add a tune and some bolt-ons for a 350 horsepower, unassuming four-door coupe. Number seven. For Honda, there's a pretty long list of high-performance cars. Names like SI, VTEC, and Type R have become legendary. However, all of them look the part, especially the S2000 and new Civic Type R. Not so with the Honda Accord, and more specifically, the 2008 to 2017 Accord EX V6 Coupe. With 278 horsepower on tap and a slick shifting six speed manual, these cars scream to 60 in the mid fives and are capable of high 13s in the quarter mile. Numbers that are definitely much stronger than the looks suggest. Number six. As mentioned earlier, Buick has been known to build cars with a serious punch, even though they look like something your grandma would drive. Well, that recipe still exists today with two different models. The 2011 to 2017 Buick Regal GS and the 2013 to 2016 Buick Verano Premium. Both of these chrome trimmed oval looking sedans pack some decent punch with a two liter direct injected turbocharged four cylinder. The same turbo four cylinder now found in the Camaro. But that's not the most amazing stat about these cars. Both of them can be had with a, wait for it, six speed manual transmission. For the Regal, the turbo engine can be had in lesser models, but the GS, which stands for Grand Sport, packs 50 more horsepower up to 270. And it has a revised sport suspension and impressive Brembo front brakes with 14 inch rotors and four piston calipers. What also makes the Regal unique is that it's built on a German Opel platform. So these cars are no slouch on a twisty mountain back road. Zero to 60 in 6.3 seconds and 14.9 in the quarter mile. Plus a decent aftermarket means lots of performance potential. On to the Verano. Now unlike the Regal, the Verano is actually built on a US platform that it shares with the Chevy Cruze. However, unlike the Cruze, you can get the same two liter turbo four found in the Regal albeit with only 250 horsepower. And yes, like the Regal, believe it or not, you can actually get one with a six speed manual transmission. Zero to 60 in 6.4 and a 14.9 quarter mile are pretty strong numbers for a car that looks like it was just picked up from the Hertz kiosk. Number five, with a Hyundai making this list, sister company Kia wasn't going to be outdone when it comes to a potential sleeper. In this case, it's not the quick 274 horsepower Sonata SX Turbo, which is a sleeper in its own right. The true sleeper is the 2011 to 2015 Kia Sportage SX Turbo, which uses the same two liter direct injected turbocharged four cylinder and can be had with an available all wheel drive system. Now, this generation of Sportage does have an aggressive and sporty look. However, with a zero to 60 time of 6.1 seconds and a 14.7 quarter mile, it definitely punches above its looks. Okay, now time for honorable mention number two, turbocharged all wheel drive CUVs and SUVs. Now there's quite a few of them out there and the Sportage SX is the quickest of all of them in stock form. However, use caution when lining up against a 2013 plus Ford Escape, which has an optional turbocharged two liter EcoBoost four cylinder with 240 horsepower and 270 foot pounds of torque. This is the same basic engine found in the Focus ST. Then there's the 2009 to 2016 Volkswagen Tiguan, which is essentially a lifted up Golf and has the same turbocharged TSI two liter four cylinder as the GTI. And it also can be had with four motion all wheel drive. Now, both of these small SUVs can go zero to 60 in the high sixes stock, which is pretty quick. However, they both offer an immense aftermarket, meaning you could build a very, very quick example, much quicker than how they look. Number four, next on the list is the 2009 to 2011 Audi A6 3.0 T. Now, normally I wouldn't consider any Audi, Mercedes, 
or even a BMW, a sleeper. And that's mainly because they're kind of expected to have more power than the average car. But this car definitely qualifies for the list. So why just the 2009 to 2011 model and why the V6? I mean, there's a 350 horsepower V8 version available. Well, because in my opinion, this C6 generation looks very conservative compared to the sleek C7 design. Plus, it was the first time you could get the same supercharged 3 liter TFSI V6 later found in the S4. And it's lighter than the V8 version. That means this plain looking mid-sized luxury sedan has 300 horsepower and 310 foot-pounds of torque. And it'll go 0 to 60 in 5.5 seconds and through the quarter mile in 13.9 at over 100 miles an hour. All in an inconspicuous 4100 plus pound luxury sedan. Number three. Ford's mid-size family sedan, the Fusion, certainly has nice styling, a very roomy package, and very economical EcoBoost engines. But for performance, unfortunately there's not much outside of an available 2-liter EcoBoost 4-cylinder with 240 horsepower, which is strong but well behind the V6 engines in most competitors. That all changed in 2017 with the introduction of the Fusion Sport, which comes with a 325 horsepower, 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 and standard all-wheel drive. Quick? Yep. 0 to 60 in 5.1 seconds and 13.7 through the quarter mile. The best part is, outside of the sport emblems, this car looks like any ordinary titanium package Fusion. The added bonus is a robust aftermarket that can make these cars even quicker. Number two, Volvo is no stranger to sleepers. From the early 80s on, they became famous for stuffing turbocharged engines into their boxy sedans and wagons, creating cars that were quicker than a lot of sports cars in the day. Volvo was also famous for entering station wagons into professional motorsports with the 740 turbos in 80s SCCA endurance racing and the 850 estate wagon in British touring car racing in the 90s. However, all of those cars had a somewhat sporting look to them that tipped off their quickness. Not so with the XC60 T8. It has your basic average modern mid-sized luxury SUV look. And hell, it's a plug-in hybrid for crying out loud. Yet it packs one of the strongest punches in stock form on this list. Get this. A turbocharged and supercharged 2-liter 4-cylinder that makes 313 horsepower and 295 foot-pounds of torque by itself. Add in two electric motors, one in front and one to drive the rear wheels, and it adds up to 400 horsepower and 472 foot-pounds of torque, which are pretty astonishing numbers. More astonishing is 0 to 60 in 5.1 seconds and 13.7 through the quarter mile, which makes the Volvo XC60 T8 e all-wheel drive hybrid one of the best modern day sleepers. Number one, last but certainly not least, is what is in my opinion one of the most unsuspecting vehicles you would ever expect to outrun your sports car from a stoplight. The 2010 to 2019 Lincoln MKT and Ford Flex EcoBoost. Ford's twin turbocharged 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 is well known for making big V8-like power in their F-Series trucks. And it first became popular in the Taurus SHO, which is a sleeper in its own right. What is lesser known is that this engine found its way into the boxy Ford Flex and limo-like seven-seat Lincoln MKT. This twin turbo V6 makes an impressive 355 horsepower and 350 foot-pounds of torque. It has a revised six-speed automatic and all-wheel drive, which propel these 5,000-pound boxy wagons to 60 miles per hour in six seconds flat stock. But they don't stop there. With a huge aftermarket following, you don't have to look far 
to find modified examples humiliating dedicated race cars at the drag strip. Make mine a 2010 to 2011 Lincoln MKT in beige, leave it 100% stock on the outside, throw a tune and some bolt-ons on it to make what is in my opinion the ultimate modern day sleeper. The best part is good examples can be had for less than $10,000. There you have it, my list of 10 modern day sleepers that can embarrass even some of the quickest performance cars today. Thanks for watching everyone. Please let me know in the comments below what your favorite sleeper car is. And as always, please subscribe for more cool reviews and interesting automotive stories.